hello, I am Carol and this is Lisa. We're here today at Wells House to tell you about two gentlemen who were very influential in the early history of Wenatchee and who are very important to Wells House. This short history of A.C. Wells was taken from a wonderful article in the Museum's Quarterly Confluence magazine by Chris Rader. A.C. Wells was born in Missouri in 1869 and grew up in South Dakota. While working as a bookkeeper in a hardware store, he met his future wife, M. Jean. She called him Zebby. They were married in 1896. Six years later, in 1902, they moved to Wenatchee with AZ's nephew, Alfred Morris. At that time, Wenatchee's population was less than a thousand. Alfred and AZ purchased the only existing hardware store in town, located at the southeast corner of Arondo and Mission Street. With the expansion of the tree fruit industry, business sales were so brisk that they moved to a larger building on 15 South Wenatchee Avenue. At one time, the store featured an apple display that said, home of the big red apple, where dollars grow on trees. Inventory eventually expanded to include automobiles. Soon, Wells and Morris bought 50 acres for an orchard along the Columbia River, south of the present Wells Dam. They called the tract as well. They were the first growers to use pumps for irrigation. Eventually, the Wells owned 900 acres of orchard from Wenatchee to Canada. Wells and Morris dissolved their partnership in 1914. Morris kept the hardware store, and Wells focused on the fruit business. AZ soon got back into retail, though, and started Wells and Wade Hardware with a fruit broker named Jim Wade. The store specialized in orchard needs. In 1937, Wells bought Wade's share of the business as part of an amicable split. Wells and Wade continued to grow. In the 1970s, it was the largest retail hardware store in the state. AZ Wells was quoted as saying, I like to think of business as my only real hobby. Imogene Wells was also very active in the community and held a variety of social events at Wells House. She was also a talented artist. In 1919, Imogene and AZ purchased the mansion that came to be known as the Wells House from Will, William T. and Adelaide Clark. Wenatchee citizens declared at the time, the only couple in Wenatchee that could afford to buy the cobblestone castle was AZ Wells and his wife Imogene. The two of them lived there until 1949 when they donated the house to the Wenatchee School District to be used for a junior college. That same year, is year when AZ turned 80, he and Imogene executed a will that would transfer the stock of the Wells and Wade companies to the AZ Wells Foundation. Then they announced plans to take a four month trip around the world. Sadly, they only got as far as Florida before AZ died in a hotel room on January 4th, 1950. He had a heart condition. Many community organizations have flourished thank to thanks to contributions from the AZ Wells Foundation. The foundation is still active and has given more than $4 million to community causes. The foundation's mission statement was taken from one of AZ Wells' favorite sayings, to keep good loyal workers, you must be loyal to them. Both these men and their wives had an amazing sense of civic duty. They gave so much back to this community, and I guess that's why we are talking about them today.